Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. We're starting off today with a monkey on screen, the great Hyperius, who honestly, I had a great time fighting on heroic difficulty just the other day. This is a funny way to start the video, but it kind of makes sense why. This is the Hyperius that comes with the Master Chief, Tavares, and Hyperius three pack. So I unboxed this and reviewed it a long, long time ago, and we have got, boom another one here, which I'm very interested to see if they're different or I, I think they're probably gonna be the exact same. But this is the first of many Jazzware reviews that I'm filming today. We've got one, two, and three. A little banished army, more just some backup for the monkey boy Hyperius himself. We got an elite mercenary. This one I'm really excited about, just screams combat evolved vibes to me. Then we've got a jackal raider and the legend Hyperius. Mr. Tubster, I've, I've always said this figure is way too fat in my opinion. Has big cankles and uh, <laughs> he's, a, he's a chunky boy. He's a chunky chief. He's the chunkiest of monkeys. Yeah, shout out to chunky chief. Well, a, a little shout out to chunky chief, you know, best commenter out there. Hyperius, Jackal Raider, Elite Mercenary. These were all scored from Big Lots for only $10 by a good friend of mine, Mega Chief Constructs Creator. And I thank him very much for that. I'm uh, really gonna enjoy unboxing and reviewing these today. And they are all from series three, The World of Halo Scale. We've got the Sanghealy Monkey and Jackal, and then we've got a Master Chief EOD and the Spartan Cavalino. But yeah, we've got the Elite here. Look at that. That is a really nice looking Sanghealy. And the blue is also just so great. You know, a lot of people say a lot of things about Halo Infinite, but nobody complains about the art style. Let me tell you, <laughs> I don't see the kids out there complaining. That's actually like an interesting point. I've never seen people commenting saying, I miss the Halo 5 art style. Out you come, buddy. He's really being held in place. There we go. <laughs> what, a, what a weird pose. It's like he's riding a ghost. Or a, maybe a moped. <laughs> yeah, this is the elite mercenary. Really nice and really simple, honestly. I can immediately feel that, yeah, the joints are pretty loose, like Jazzware joints are kind of crazy loose. The helmet is not removable, but there is a lot of detail there. There is a bit of a strange hole in his head there. I don't think that's how elite heads appear. But his mandibles, while shielded, do look really great. There is some colored detail on his teeth, which I appreciate, and his eyes. His skin tone seems to match his armor, more or less. Like, that skin is the exact same color as his armor. But, I mean, that could be intentional, right? Uh, elites might want to confuse you. Like, if a sniper's zooming in on the elite, they don't know what they're shooting, whether it's armor or skin. <laughs> the neck doesn't really move at all. There's no sort of ratchet joint there. It's just a ball joint that sort of rotates back and forth. His hands uh, do have some really nice armor here with these white lights. Or maybe they're not lights or just some detailing. Kind of looks like a drop pod uh, outline to me. Yeah, some really nice molding here. Jazzware, like, here's the thing. People sometimes complain about Jazzware. I, I get some of the criticisms, but like in general, the amount of new molds they've made is absurd. And like some people also complain that yeah, Jazzware sometimes reuses a figure in two waves. I think it's okay as long as they release the three pack version first and then they release the individual figure. The problem is when they release the individual figure, you buy it and then you realize you have to get another one to get the three pack with the AC Master Chief. The best example is the uh, Combat Evolved Master Chief. Originally you had to get him in a two pack or in a four pack and now you can buy them individually. So people are like, what was the point of that two pack or four pack? There is the pulse rifle. Looks like a little baby in his hands. Really nice molding though. Uh, I like the purple detailing. His arms are definitely not as flexible as his legs. And look at that, it looks so small. <laughs> is that to scale? I imagine it probably is, but like I'm used to Mega Construct. He's got some good articulation in his legs. He can, you can have him leaping forward, running into combat. And I guess the pulse rifle is kind of like that. I would like if this head uh, cranked to the left and right or up and down. He's not gonna be looking at anyone like that. That's a minor concern. Other than that, very good figure. Let's bust out that Jackal Raider. Yeah, Mega Chief sent me these. I'm taking them back to England. I'm gonna have them on display next to my McFarlane, I guess. It is also nice with Jazzware how they have a variety of different base plates. And it's not just a variety of color, it's a variety of texture. These stones are great and the grass is different, but also cool. And they do all snap together. I would like Jazzware to release a much larger version of this base plate. It's always nice when you've cleared out an SD card and it says 99 minutes of recording remain. And you know it's like not even 
799 is like more than that, but it can only display 99 on the screen. Out your cup. Jackals are another wondrous return to form in the franchise. Like they look and act and sound like jackals. They even have amazing voice lines in Halo Infinite. So I love interacting with them. I really feel like all the enemies are fresh enough that uh, you never get bored. And the jackals can also raise their shield and then raise their shield higher. So there's a lot of variety in combat. These uh, little frills actually stand out to me. They're a completely different plastic than I thought they'd be. That's actually really fun. Good on you, Jazzware. That's 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 nice. That's nice. Looks like a real uh, <laughs> a dinosaur here. My goodness. That is that is hideous. That's nice. I'm I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, look at him. He's like it's like some frail old man. <laughs> Um, how does the shield, oh, it clips on like so. Nice. And that shield is like appropriate sizing, I think. They are meant to be really big. I think in Halo Infinite, the Jackal holds the shield on the right, but I might be wrong. And then it also comes with a plasma pistol, which I think I threw away. There we go. I'm, I'm always a big fan of nice painted plasma pistols. The Mega Constructs Master Chief versus Arbiter is my favorite. And this one is also great. Uh, a little bit weird to hold in his hand, but then again, it is like very strange design on his hand there. Just three fingers, but hey, he holds it. He, he holds it okay. Is he able to do as they do in the game? Put it like that and then put it like that. Yeah, I, I think that pretty much works. I like that the jackals can now aim over the top. It definitely keeps it fresh. Like when you're taking out a load of jackals with a BR, it's not just so obvious how it's gonna be done. Yeah, the plasma pistol looks great. This nice translucent plastic is dope. The red matches his armor and his frills. They've got a uh, theme here of matching different parts. Really dope. Uh, the same yellow eyes as the elite mercenary. Actually a lot of colors here. You know, we've got the basic skin tone, but the skin has a lot of texture on it. Like this is definitely detailed. A lot of like sort of dry brushing on there. The neck, uh, yeah, has way more articulation. Look at that, way better than the, uh, <laughs> oh gosh, way better than the uh, Elise like howling at the moon here, jeez. Then we've got red, white, and dark gray, even some black detailing running all over and just some really great uh, molding here. And also showing off that banished red, you know me. I, I think I'm fully converted at this point. I was going back and forth, but I, I think after playing the heroic campaign another time, I think uh, I am fully converted to banished red over Covenant purple. I think it just looks so good. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. Is the Hyperius the same? I imagine definitely it will be. But let's find out together, shall we, folks? This guy needed uh, two white tags to hold him into place because he's such a chunky boy. Out you go. Wow, that's so loud. Okay, Hyperius. Hyperius? Hyperius. How you doing, Hyperius? Looks, uh, looks pretty much the same to me. I gotta say, I think this Hyperius has a little bit better texture on his face. Locke's helmet, I mean the Hunter's helmet, it's not confirmed as Locke's, but this helmet, uh, yeah, looks the same. This is a, an interesting thing we can, oh, look at that, yeah. There's more battle damage or there's more dry brushing on the three-pack Hyperius than there is on the single pack Hyperius. But the dry brushing is randomized, right? When you look at their helmets, this is from the three pack, this is from the single figure pack, and you can see the dry brushing is randomized. Totally randomized, which I like. Uh, it adds a total uniqueness to each character. I know we don't need two Hyperiuses being unique, but when you have like 10 of these elites, having different dry brushing randomized all over will give it a, uh, a more authentic feel. And uh, yeah, I, oh, look at that. I would definitely say the three pack Hyperius has better dry brushing. Yeah, all the way around. Like this dry brushing is, is intense. This one is like faded almost. They both came out in 2021. So I imagine they're the same wave. I don't think that actually be an up in quality between the one pack and the three pack, but it is still interesting to see. Jet packs are identical. Uh, again, just heavier dry brushing on the three Pack. And I guess a slightly different shade of gray if you want to critique that. And then the Ravager is identical. And the Ravager is actually a bit lackluster in uh, any kind of coloring, though it does have a little stud, uh, same as this Pulse Carbine, so you can put it into their back or wherever it can clip into on each individual figure. What I do also want to point out about this Hyperius, I'll point it out about the one we just unboxed. This area here is totally lacking in color. Just this single gray, and that's a mix between, I think, his skin and his armor and this belt. So the, there should have been a bit more detail in there, but in fairness, when you're talking about budgeting, they have actually put a lot of detail into to this Hyperius. And I don't blame them that they released it single pack and triple pack because they really want to uh, maximize their audience. But uh, you definitely need to release the uh, triple pack first so people can buy it and then they don't have any need or want to buy the single pack. And uh, I remember when I first got this Hyperius, I found it difficult to get the Ravager into his hand. And I think I'm gonna find it difficult with this one too. There he is, monkey, elite, 
and Jackal. Three, actually half of the series three wave. And I gotta say, I'm most impressed with the Jackal and the Elite. I th that's biased, that's totally biased because I've had this one on my shelf with the three pack for months, but I do really like these two figures. They got a lot of character, they got a lot of detail, especially this Jackal with the weird plastic frills. These are a really good set and they make a great little triple uh, threat, a little uh, three, three pack of enemies, <laughs> three of the banished. Let me know down below if you've managed to score this or any other Jazzwa World of Halo, or are you more a Jazzwa Spartan collection kind of guy? Thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks, and the banished are signing off. <laughs>